Hey, this is Alex Winter, and you are watching Coin Spice. Well, all right, we are back with another episode of the Coin Spice podcast. This is your host, C. Edward Kelso, editor in chief out of CoinSpice.io. And we're finishing up our three parter here with Amari Sachet, the lead developer out of Bitcoin ABC, main implementation for Bitcoin Cash. Uh, ahead of the May 15th, 2020 scheduled network upgrade. And the first two episodes found us kind of delving into the four parts of that May uh, 15th, 2020 upgrade. Um, and with the last one ending on the infrastructure funding plan uh, for Bitcoin Cash, the infamous IFP, which has become quite the subject of debate. And in the final part here, Amari just continues riffing on related subjects, the division within the community, uh, protocol funding. Uh, he calls out a few members, and uh, I try to get him, uh, lure him uh, into deeper waters with regard to what uh, the implications are of, of uh, all the various responses to the IFP. But in essence, we have Amari on not to highlight him or to down him or play point counterpoint, but just because he's such a uh, you know influential figure within the Bitcoin Cash community, and he is someone you have to grapple with. So this does get spicy, and I know you heard me say that over the last two episodes, but this one, I'm serious. Stop right now. Well, after I'm done explaining, of course. Uh, pause it, go to your fridge, get out your almond milk if you're vegan, if you need that. Uh, sprinkle a little cinnamon to help it go down a little bit or a glass of non-pasteurized freedom, cow's milk, uh, whatever whatever you're into, because this is going to get spicy! Again, this is the third part in a three-part series with Amari Sachet. Do yourself a favor and go back and listen to those first two so you put it into context. Here is... Amari Sachet. So just to restate it, uh, not that you need to, but Tyler Smith uh, moved on to um, on to Ava and Emin Gunsir's project uh, at Ava Labs, and uh, we actually interviewed him um, as he as he bounced uh, um, over there from Bitcoin Cash, and uh, you're you're saying flatly that. Um, at least part of his decision, a great part of it was monetary and that you personally went out to try to find funding to keep him on because he's such a valuable uh, member of the team mm-hmm. that that couldn't, that couldn't be secured for whatever reason. And <clears throat> not that it's, I'm not, I'm not sure you're saying it's the same exact people, but um, all of a sudden the community is finding funds for these other projects and that uh, your contention is this, this, it seems to be, I'll, I'll just say it for you. It seems to be people are more interested in knocking down or, or um, contravening ABC than they are in building up Bitcoin cash. Is that right? Um, yes and no. I think this is a, a restrictive way to state it. There, there is an element of that but this is a restrictive way to state it um because i I think who stated the best is just in bounds who said that bch is a protest movement but uh where he's completely wrong is that he seems to think that it's a good thing and but it's actually a pretty bad thing because protest movement are not for anything they are against everything and as a result they never get to build anything right so if you take um I remember like a few months ago, we did a podcast and there was the yellow vest stuff in France going on. And I remember yeah. about that. Like, yeah, well, where is the yellow vest now? You know, they, they've, right. they have achieved, you know, they have achieved exactly jack shit. Why? Because same with Occupy they are against the stuff. Yeah, and Occupy Wall Street is the same. And, you know, like almost all the communist revolution also are based on the same, um, you know, same kind of, of social dynamic that that go on between people and this stuff never go anywhere but it's in tapping you know there's always new stuff happening you get to feel like like you are the revolutionary hero that is freeing the people right so it's it's very psychologically enticing for people 
and and you and I included, right? Like nobody is immune to that. It's just it's just something that appeals to the human psyche, but it's not oh you get shit done, um, not at all. And I can take you know I can take many other examples. Like let's say let's say you had a dude, and that dude is not a developer, but he worked for a big software company that that produced a programming language that is you know used all over the world by millions of developers. It's a huge success. You probably use it every day um, in some way or another. And, and he helped that effort as, as a you know, business development kind of guy. Um, you would keep that the guy on board, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, if, if the goal is to develop a software to something that is world scale, it's not just software, right? Like it's a task that is that is that includes software but that goes beyond software you need people to do business development for instance to extend the use of the software to to a world scale and and there are not that many people who have experience with that so if you had someone that experiences that you would keep that person on board right and and it turned out that we used to <laughs> we used to have one person that have this profile and and same thing, that person left recently. That person is, is Stefan Rust, who worked for Oracle and worked uh, notably on, on producing the Java programming language. And if people are not familiar, most of Android, for instance, is based on Java. Many several applications are based on mm-hmm. Java. You use Java in, in one form or another every day. Uh, yeah, you use software that use Java or connect to servers that use Java probably every day. And so... And so you see that, that there, there are the stated value and the stated value is, is build digital cash and have cheap and reliable transaction, right? And scale worldwide and have hard money. This is the stated value. But the embodied value is we are a protest movement. Mm-hmm. And this is very important to, to know that because now if your embodied value is we are a protest movement, then uh, and this is like, if, if this is not what we want to do and we want to be digital cash, then we need to rethink where we spend our time and energy and attention. Because um, if you spend your time and energy and attention on protest movement, when you want to be peer-to-peer digital cash, then, then it's just, just not going to work. You're not going to achieve your goal. Or maybe we delude ourselves and those are actually our goal to be a protest movement. Like people just, just, you know, they have this social club, they are pissed off that bank and they want to protest that bank and to do Occupy Wall Street 2.0. And, and maybe this is what people want to do, but then we need to be honest with ourselves and, and be like, okay, BCH is like a protest movement against bank and, and whatnot and BTC and, and, and ABC and, you know, everybody. Um, because if we don't, we're going to waste a bunch of people's time, right? Because there are people that are actually for digital cash in that space um, that are betting on BCH to be that. And, and those people are going to be like, those people are the actual victim in that whole process. Like not me, not ABC, not like, it, like th- those are the people who are the victim there. Because we as a community are telling them we are building digital cash, join us. But actually, we're not doing that. Hmm. We're, we're fracturing, um, and there's a there's a constant debate about debate and debates. And then my my only pushback <clears throat> in that scenario, and I think there's a lot of wisdom there, as you've outlined, is <clears throat> that maybe maybe the way they're thinking and, and it, like you say, they could not be on it, maybe not be honest with themselves, but I'm just going to assume they are. Um, maybe their thing is they have to route around um, the Bitcoin ABC version of the vision of, of digital cash and that that's the way to get there. And I'm wondering if maybe, you have some sympathy for that because of the origins of kind of where you come out of, uh, which was for sure a protest movement, but also something positive and building on it. Uh, if you have some sympathy for that, but that are also kind of what uh, the, <clears throat> another sense I get from you is that I think once the, once the revolutionary glare wears off, 
and the uh, uh, you know the being out in the streets with your yellow vest and and running around and getting pictures of yourself by on the Champs Elysees by the Associated Press or uh, the AFP. Once that wears off, <clears throat> and you got to go back and do the hard work that no one sees, um, you know, backporting code and tech debt and <laughs> dealing with people's complaints and three in the morning phone calls about, Hey, you know, my, this is taking too long. And so on. Is, is that a part of your worry that, that maybe this, this <clears throat> protest aspect of BCH is taking on something that they just don't understand? Um, the uh the, the full implications of what they're getting themselves into well no like yes and no so those stuff are only important if you want to build um if you want to build digital cash for the world right because then you need to have a, a stable infrastructure on which this digital cash can be developed mm -hmm. but if what you want is a protest movement then that's not very important so they probably won't okay. do it. Okay, and yeah, my comeback, I, I caught myself, was a, was to say, well, they they are building it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but then you're saying it doesn't match with uh, their their rhetoric and their, their actual vision. Um, it, it, yeah, and um, people are going to say, like, you know, I want to decide where people put their money or what they do. But, but no, I'm just, like, pointing out, like, people are completely free to do that. I want to make that very clear. People are completely free to spend their money on whatever they want. And people are completely free to spend their time and energy developing whatever they want. Um, but, but we need to be honest about what it is actually. Um, and, and I think we are not. So my contention would be, or, or pushback, or however you want to phrase it, and, and, and I, this is not the show to do point, counterpoint. And as I explained to you when I, I lured you on here like a helpless babe uh, that uh, we, we are here to provide the guest a platform. Um, but this yeah. is such a community um, centric uh, discussion. I, I figure it's important to at least mildly represent the other side. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the community is this, is this amorphous blob. And it seems that, a number of those in the West have gone on or are trying to not just protest, which they did, but actively build a parallel universe without the IFP and mm -hmm. uh, any, any sort of semblance of that. Um, can, is there a way to reconcile these things going forward where we have, uh, I've heard it said before, that we want multiple implementations. That's a good thing. Um, I'm agnostic on that. I, I, I tend to favor it because if you say words to me like decentralization and so on, that's, that's uh, crack cocaine for me. I, I love that stuff, right? Centralization bad, decentralization good. So in, in a very rudimentary kind of, you know, very basic sense. But they say they want more implementation. So is there a world by which we maintain, or uh, this is what I kind of see actually, uh, Bitcoin ABC dominance, at least in the short term, as a reference implementation. But we have, uh, I guess now four other, you know, at least four other, maybe five other, viable, you know, mineable alternatives where there's some sort of, you know, the, 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 the rhetoric dies down. Uh, people kind of see the work that maybe they didn't know existed before. Uh, they, they have some sympathy with your, with your you know, two-year plus struggle uh, to get funding and to get attention and to, to see this thing get the love it deserves. And also you kind of hearkening back to the podcast I had with Vin where he – you know, he obviously, like me as an admirer of yours, he also sort of blamed you for the, uh, put some of the blame anyway, uh, on how you handled the sort of outward um, projection of ABC and then the IFP and all this other stuff. So do you, do you see a way by which 
they can reach across to ABC and ABC can reach across to them. And in this mess of a protest movement and uh, from their side, you know, this, this dictatorial centralization that in, in the mess of all that, we get a better, stronger Bitcoin cash. Is, is that possible? Or is this my Disneyland American thing coming through? No, well, yeah. um, it, it tra- like, so yes, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd say yes. And, and in fact, it's, it's been happening partially already, right? Because the, the BCHD fault, for instance, has been, you know, cooperating with the ABC fault for like since the beginning and, and it's, it's worked very well and this is also why they've been defunded recently like you know there's a huge pledge that have been removed uh from bchd because uh because they were in agreement with some of the stuff that that abc say mm, or do right. and, and this is you know this is not kosher right so you gotta you gotta get rid of that um and well, you know, like maybe like this is another example of, of what I was stating. Like imagine you have a dude that I've written, you know, 80 to 90% of an alternative implementation. And in addition, he pushed this uh, technology called Neutrino that allow, that allow SPV wallet to work, you know, like much better than, than the Bloom filter tech that we use right now. Um, and 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 this is especially important if we want to have like very large blocks because you know we want SPV. Like we expect everybody to use SPV and not run their full node on their Raspberry Pi. So, <laughs> so someone that does that would have you know produced tremendous value toward raising the, the roadmap. And yet you know because that person, uh, because that person you know was accused of wrong thing, then you know <laughs> that person needs to be defunded. It's kind of hilarious because that message, you know, obviously I'm talking about Chris, right? And Chris wrote most of BCHD. Chris, Chris Pas- and, uh, Pacia of uh, BCHD, Chris Pacia, Open Bazaar. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. So yeah, so he he built a good chunk of Open Bazaar as well, which is obviously uh, like a huge. Um, Huge declaration of alignment with with the stated value, right? Like open bazaar goes hand in hand with something like like BCH, at least with the stated value of BCH, because well, this is a marketplace to use BCH as digital cash. And so, you know, like this is this is one of our examples where the the stated value and where the resources are going really don't match. But but back to the point of multiple implementation, we've been working with BCHD. Actually, many points that exist in the roadmap come from the BCHD guys. Um, but there are two kinds of, of decentralization, right? Like they are like you have several group of people and there is no objective boss between them and they cooperate around the common goal, right? But there is also like everything is atomized to pieces and pulverized you know, everywhere. And this is like the ultimate decentralization, right? Like every atoms is, is anywhere. But, but this second form of decentralization provides zero value whatsoever. So if you want to have some kind of decentralization that makes any sense, you need to get along with the plan. Like you need to want to go to the... Uh, actually, actually, if we go back to the Bible story with Moses... Like they have effectively decentralization there because they have twelve tribe sure. uh, of of Jews that are that are going there, right? It's not like one unified blob. It's like it's like those twelve tribe that kind of have the same common goal, but effectively not. And because they don't, they end up spending all their time, uh, you know, wandering in the desert. Uh, so so this is this is the decentralization that don't work for for that to work you need a shared goal because what's happening right now is that you have some people that have the shared goal and, and, and it works very well to, to work with them, you know, uh, but you have those people that never really shared any of the goal, but that got along with the plan. Um, because, because they have no alternative, like they kind of fucked up the alternatives. And so they went there, like it was not really their choice. 
And now they are there and they want to change the plan. But really, this is this is this is a huge negative for BCH because the only thing that it does is add uncertainty because now nobody knows what the plan is. Because you know, like even if there is a stated plan, then you know those people have influence, so maybe they're gonna change the plan at any time. So so you you don't know anymore where this project is going into, which mm -hmm. is which is bad for you know everybody that wants to get into it because they effectively don't know what they're getting into. Uh, plus, it prevents everybody from executing to the plan. So that's that's the wandering in the desert element of it, right? There there is just like like if if you were like a bystander and you have those 12 tribe of Chu, and and they're like okay we're going together and and one of the guys say okay we're going to the promised land and the other one is like oh no we're going to the mount sinai right and the third one is like we're going somewhere else but like i'm not sure i want to go to the desert with you guys right it makes zero sense for me to do that i'm not i don't even know where i'm going and this is the freaking desert there is no water there is no food this is bad I don't want to go there with you when you don't have your shit together. So, at, so this is this is what is happening. And if we are honest with ourselves, uh, you know, like there's this this seen and unseen idea in economics, but this is happening right now, right? A lot of people see that, and we are selecting in the community for the people that don't see that, because the people that see that they just don't join. Right and right. and 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 now, if we're honest with ourselves, there were many people involved in BCH early on that are valuable people in crypto that are not anymore, and and those are the people that see that, but they didn't left you know uh, making a, a, a huge noise or whatever. They just you know contributed less and then disappeared. And and we don't think about them anymore. But think about it. Like I don't know. I don't know if you were there, um, you know, like three years ago or two years ago when when things were just starting. But uh, we had Vitalik that was hugely supportive of BCH. Now he's hardly talking right. about it anymore. Right. And and actually, I, I I had a few discussions with Vitalik even recently, and he pointed to me this this whole protest movement thing as as the main reason. Um, I don't want to put word in his mouth because I don't, I don't remember the exact statement he used, but basically it was like, you know, uh, BCH is not going anywhere because of that. So I'm not very interested anymore. Um, um, you, you had people like Emin Gensir was very involved in, in BCH. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's mm -hmm. not anymore. You, and um, it's not just technical people. You had people like Vinny Lingam, for instance, that was very supportive of BCH. It's, it's not talking about it anymore. Right, all those people, they have no interest in picking a fight. Those are people who have interest in building, right? And honestly, you reverse the role, right? I, I, I kind of feel like I, I, um, I kind of feel like you know, like I'm, I'm one of the initiator of this. So I have, I have a sort of duty to the people that went along with what I was proposing to, to bring them there, right? But uh, those people, they did not, right? So they just left. And and I would be in their shoe, I would probably have done the same uh, because because of this whole protest movement thing. And and it's, it is extremely important. Like one way or another, we're going to realize it. And there are two ways, you know, like either we realize it or we suffer so much that we have no other choice than to realize it and act accordingly. Like those are the two options that the community has at its disposal right now. Um, and 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 BSV was was one example of that. Like like everybody suffered. Um, and and we're we're gonna have more of that going forward up to the point where people realize what dynamic is taking place that leads to these kind of events right now I, I don't see that happening very much like um if you go on rbtc for instance like half of the post in there about how bad the bitcoin people are like like do you imagine the, the level of crazy ex-girlfriend this is reaching it, it's almost 
it's almost three years later now. Yeah. It's like two and a half years later. Yeah. And people are like every day, half of the thing they talk about is how bad the excess was. It's, yeah. it's psycho, you know, it's like, it's, it's not healthy. It's, it's reaching, um, I mean, it's reaching almost pathological uh, levels at this point. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think that's fair, and I think CoinSpice is, is uh, <clears throat> slightly guilty of that on on my end as well. Um, I, I'll hear about it from time to time. People say, "I mean, Why th- there is you- no problem. There is no problem mentioning it from time to time." Right. Right. This is this is not what the pro- like the problem is when half of what you discuss is your ex three years later. You are a psycho ex girlfriend or boyfriend. You know, we, we just, we just can't get over it. And I, I think your point is that if you look at the battle, our ex-girlfriend, she did a whole bunch of squats and she's dieted down and she's muscular and uh, she started her own cosmetic. Our ex-girlfriend doesn't give a shit about us. And she like, doesn't, she, she doesn't She care. kind of dumped on us at the beginning, you know, <laughs> like, like when there is a breakup yeah. happens sometime. But she moved on like two years ago. She's happy. She's rich. She's got her own cosmetic line. She's dating Antonio Banderas. Things are going well. And uh, we're in our one studio bedroom apartment uh, stalking her Facebook. Um, Yeah. Yeah. And it's time to eat the gym, delete Facebook, and uh, and lawyer up, you know, like as Reddit would state it. (laughs) Man, (laughs) we are Every time you have like a... um, a dating problem on Reddit. It's like delete Facebook, it the cheap lawyer up. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> always the answer. So you know, um, I don't know if it's the best answer, but this is the answer according to Reddit. So we gotta do that if if we're All right. on Reddit. Is there a way? And you you've already answered this, I think, in a in a roundabout way. Uh, you're becoming more Vin Armani like every day, um, but. Uh, I don't think so. Like we have very different style, obviously. Uh-huh. I was, I was kidding. I was we've, yeah. we've been talking about those stuff for a very long time, and and the reason we've both been able to make quite reliable prediction on what would happen going forward is 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 because we 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 share a lot of those ideas and they work. Right. Is so. I, I want to take it all and put it together for sort of a kind of your final take here. And, and I, I think I'm, I'm actually repeating myself, but uh, for some reason I, I have to get it out. Is there a way going forward where we're not acting within the BCH community like a scorned ex-girlfriend where we cannot get over that, you know, this person said this about us and that person did this and then they funded this, but not that. Is there a way to, <clears throat> to reach across the nodes, reach across the, to, to do something that doesn't normally happen. So in other words, instead of playing out the game theory and, and, you know, in, in, in maybe in a weird way, kind of self prophesy, you know, I think it's going to go this way and, and I'm going to steer it in this direction um, intentionally or, or not. Is, is there a way of counteracting that and going, you know what? Like these guys say they want digital cash. Maybe I was not the, maybe I made some mistakes along the way and you, you laughed to me uh, prior to our recording and you said, well, it turns out I'm not perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, which that's is, very unfortunate. But yeah, yeah, I was extremely disappointed that, that you're not perfect. Um, but um, you know, is there a way for you? This is a totally unfair question now that I'm forming it, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Is there a way for you to, as you, you're sort of the shelling, the shelling point of the protest movement, ironically enough, is around you. So. If you you're, you're you're almost trumping at this point. If if you were to say, you know that's what, that's good. Then 
guess. <laughs> Depends on who's listening. But if you were to say go over to BC. I mean, he got uh, elected. It was president at the end. <laughs> there it is. And he might be again. Um, so you go over to BCH node. You, you know, you, you get into the chat room. You know, fellas, FABC, I'm with it there's a sense that they would all move over to ABC, right? And so there's, it's, it's sort of ridiculous and you're kind of in this impossible position. But is there a way for you to go against type, you know, as your cast, as your, as your public persona is? And um, I, I don't really see you as the contentious figure they do, but I'm just going to grant them that you're this ogre, whatever guy. So is there a way for you to go against type and just go you know what i i've made some mistakes and and the rogers of the world i i haven't liked what they've done they haven't liked what i've done in parts but uh you know let's acknowledge their contributions let's move forward the uh these the, the bch node guys the imaginaries the emergence um these guys uh you know say you know what i i i like the moxie i like i like what you're doing here the chutzpah the this is a great idea. Let's, let's, you know, I'm, I'm glad to see, you You know, I, you've, you've kind of, you know, you know, moved a little plank from my eye and, 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 I, and this, let's do this. Or do you think immediately it would be, ah, he's capitulating, you know, and they would flip the game theory on you. And now, now he's, you know, he's, his, his weaknesses has been exposed. So have we just kind of set this up to fail? Like, like just sort of the Mexican standoff. There's about 25 questions in that. This is totally unfair for me to pause right here, but uh, what, uh, just just to get your reaction from my my word salading. Yeah. So, uh, well, obviously, I did mistake along the way. That's I mean, uh, I, I would be stupid to to say that it's not the case. I mean, like this is impossible to make decision every day for two years, and every single one of them is right. That's uh, <laughs> that's um, I mean, th- that would be like that would be me being Donald Trump actually, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> because according to himself, he's not making any mistake. Um, but, but, you know, I think this is not the crux of the dynamic here. Um, I, I think, you know, like when people get angry, the reason people get angry is because they have an expectation and reality doesn't match that expectation. This is the source of anger, right? So you like you expected your friend to to come with food, uh, but you know they decided to to not come anyway, and they did not tell you. And now you are fucking alone at home, and you have no food, right? You'd be angry at your friend because you had an expectation that that even they set up, right? But it, it doesn't really matter if they set it up or not, actually. You had an expectation, and this expectation did not happen. Uh, the problem we have here is that there is, there is a huge gap between the BCH community's expectation and the reality of the situation. Like the reality, like the expectation is that, you know, we're going to be like the number one currency that everybody uses in the world. And the reality is that uh, we are way smaller than Bitcoin that is itself way smaller than, you know, world currency, right? So, so we are nothing. Um, and, and the anger comes from, from, you know, that expectation not being met. And... And this is why you see anger at like anyone that's going to bring you, like that's going to remind you what the reality is. And so you see anger against the BTC folk, right? Because they remind us what the reality is. And the reality is that we did not execute very well on increasing the size of the block. And as a result, they are number one and we are number four or something. And 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 this is what happened. Like we didn't play, we didn't play the game very well, and they played the game better, and they won. That is that is the reality, and and our expectation doesn't match that reality. And and the same with ABC. We're like you, you know, um, the resources that we have right now are not in adequation with everything that you guys want us to do and that we want to do as well. 
And as a result, a lot of the stuff are not going to be done or we need to find alternative ways to get the resources like the IFP. This is the reality. Um, uh, because like knows our implementation is going to be able to, 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 to do any better with the kind of resources that they have. Um, like we estimate that it's very hard to get a large amount of ownership with less than 2 million a year. And it, this is not like, there is many ways to compute that number, but this is also what is, um, like parity Bitcoin, for instance, at the exact same number, like recently they made a, because they stopped supporting their Bitcoin client or their Ethereum client. I don't know. They stopped supporting one of their not clients. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they put out the number and the number were very close to the one we put out there. And right now there is the expectation that it is possible to do that with an order of magnitude less money. Um, it's probably possible to do that with less money, you know, like if we if we optimize our stuff, but a lot of magnitude is, is, is a lot. And, and so, and so here you, you also have like a reality and an expectation that don't match. And so when reality and expectation don't match, anger is like the intuitive reaction that we have. And so it, it's, it's going to happen. It's, it's, um, it's going to happen and there's going to be anger. And the only way, the only way we go beside that is is being willing to look at the reality as it is, not not as we want it to be. Mm. I, I yeah, I guess you know that's that's where we leave it. Um, regardless of of what happens, I think a lot of people. So even with BCHD being, I guess, summarily defunded in parts. Um, and the, during the Flipstarter campaign, I noticed the uh, the Flipstarter guys like Imaginary and Emerge and so on stepped up and they they donated to BCHD. They they said it's a valuable project and they they like it and so on. Um, and that they you know they so there was an overture. Yeah, that made me think that like especially like Imaginary is on aim as not be very honest lately uh, very disappointed because uh up to up to recently was you know very very stand-up guy uh emergent reason is like the definition of a stand-up guy uh, so i have no there is no doubt in my mind that that the emergent reason has all the best intention in the world um but but the reality doesn't doesn't care about intentions like this is not this is not how it works. Um, reality really doesn't care about our intention. And if we want to make actually make things better, if, like you, you got to you got to adopt like a scientific method effectively. Like you, you need to make a hypothesis. Okay, so the hypothesis might be you know like if we do X, things would be better. And then you try to do X and you measure whatever things, like whatever metric you decided that better uh, match to. And then you see, does that work? Does that not work? Um, right now we are not doing that. And so we are not improving. And, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we have good intention or bad intention. Like reality doesn't care about that at all. This is probably where I would depart with Vin because he would tell you that, oh, you know, like reality is subjective or something like we all have our <laughs> own interpretation of reality or, or something like that. But um, I, don't, I don't think that is the case. Uh, and last question here on the IFP and then I'll, I'll let you go. I've kept you for, uh, for far too long here. But the it seems the BTC top uh, pool has, you know, effectively pulled out of of the mm -hmm. IFP. Um, do you see other miners kind of waiting in the wings to kind of activate it eventually, or is this uh, is this DOA? I think it's probably not going to activate. And do you do you think ever? I don't know. I think a lot of things are going to happen in the next six months. 
um, depending on the choice that everybody makes, like the, the choice that we make as an aggregate, right, as a community, it means that either we move on from where we are or we are good for a bit more wandering in the desert. This is, this is really up to, up to everybody, right, because this is the aggregate choice of the decision made up by everybody that, that is going to decide that. Um, and this is going to be decided by where we put our time, attention, and resources, um, including money, but not just money, right? Like everybody has different, like, you know, time, attention, work, whatever. Um, it really depends where we put those. If we put those in places that are very much aligned with the goal that we have, or that are stated goal, then we're going to get closer to those and we're going to stop moving faster and everything is going to be much better. If we don't, if we don't, then it's going to get worse by the end of the year, um, which is probably very bad, actually, because it seems like, you know, there is the bull market that profiling itself. So probably things are going to go up, you know, by the end of the year or something like that. We're going to be in the bull market or at least this is what it looks like. And so uh, if we don't get our shit together, we're going to be left behind. And that's then climbing back is going to be even harder. That's as good as places any to stop. Uh, the great uh, Amari Sache, lead developer at Bitcoin ABC, the stalwart, the battle-tested um, implementation for Bitcoin Cash. And this is his take on uh, where we are now as a community. Uh, I expect to get uh, a lot of debate, uh, and <laughs> ironically enough, um, and pushback. But also, um, I think he's a respected enough uh, member of the community for people to uh, uh, to take him seriously. So um, I really do appreciate all the time and the effort, and um, over the years and and uh, during the podcast here. And before I let you go, um, how can people follow your work and keep up with things ABC? Keep up with uh, Amari Sache. Uh, well, we've been publishing articles on a regular basis now. So we have a medium like Bitcoin ABC medium account where we, we put articles. It's probably going to move to the Bitcoin ABC.org website at some point. Um, we've been having a lot of problem with read.cash, uh, because they have this new OC mechanism to try to, to, uh, discover plagiarized content and we, mm -hmm. we, been getting a lot of fast false flag on there so it, it's not working great for us which is very unfortunate because you know everything you know everything being the same we'd rather use services that build up on b sure. so sorry, that cash um but but right now right now it's not serving us as as well as it could and um and so we publish on there but you, you're probably better off uh, going on medium um, we'll have links to uh, to all of it in the show notes here. Uh, again, man, I really appreciate all the time, uh, the ability to reflect, the philosophy, the time, the work, the effort. Um, you've always been very supportive of CoinSpice, and, uh, mm -hmm. and we appreciate it. Thanks again, man, and uh, we are rooting for you. Thank you. Ciao. <laughs>